Namaste. Welcome. Thank you all so very much for joining me. Welcome to anyone who is new to my process. I am Shaman Destiny Raven. Welcome to your January 24th through 30th guidance. Um, so this week we are going to jump in and explore what is unfolding for us as a collective. So Monday and Tuesday, you have the Empress in reverse. Many of you are needing to spend some more time nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself just as much as you take care of others. You're needing to find a balance between how much you take care of you know, the outside world and how much you put into yourself. This can also be in the way that you are speaking to yourself. So you may give a lot of motivation to other people and tell people how much they can do things and how they can accomplish things. But when it comes to yourself, you may beat yourself up. You may speak negatively to yourself. If you mess up, if you make a mistake, be really mindful of how you are nurturing yourself through your thoughts, through your words, and through your actions, okay? Remember, mind, body, and spirit. You've got to connect all of those three to really live a beautifully balanced life. So the Empress in reverse, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just spirit's way of telling you to be more mindful of how much you take care of yourself, how much you focus on your own personal process. For those of you who are into spiritual work as a practitioner or a facilitator, as much as you give to your clients, as much as you give to the collective, make sure that you're also receiving that for yourself. Make sure you're giving that to yourself or and also receiving it from others. Because that could be it as well, that there are people that want to nurture you and want to take care of you, but you just don't, you know, you don't want to receive that. That comes from things that you need to work on, especially through shadow work. Because when you are in a position where you are so independent that you don't want anyone's help, that's trauma. That comes from maybe having to take care of yourself for so long that now you don't want the help when you can get it now, right? It's not so much like before when you know it wasn't coming in at all, so you had to learn how to self-soothe. Now you're in a position where there are people around you that can support you. And if there isn't, then it doesn't matter. But if there is, be open to that. That's what spirit is saying to you, okay? Also too, if you are working on something, this is a wonderful time, not because we're in a retrograde. A lot of people think that, that because we're in a retrograde, you shouldn't put things out. You shouldn't do this Go with the energy. Go with how the, the, the energy is moving. We're actually in a retrograde in Aquarius, which is very much in the mind. So you will be reviewing a lot of creative things. And you're not just simply reviewing it. You're reviewing it so that you can put it out into the world. So try not to hold on to your creations too tightly because the Empress in Reverse can talk about that as well. You, you're you're working on your creations to give them to the collective, not to keep them to yourself. This this is why you're being given the information from your higher self. Your higher self wants you to give back to humanity, okay? And then Wednesday and Thursday, we have the star upright. So this is all about the universe telling you that things are aligning in your experience, that things are full, unfolding beautifully. Remember that, look at the star. She, this is her blueprint, right? It's not, she's not, um, you know, asking, simply asking. What she's doing is she's pulling all of the things that she's put out into the non-physical. She is now pulling them into the physical where she is, right? So you are the creator of your reality. The things that you have maybe worked on since last year, working to manifest them, your creations, right? you are definitely um, bringing them into the physical experience. So remember that, especially with the emperors coming in on Monday and Tuesday, you may, it may, because it's going a little bit slower, you may think, you may think, oh, wow, the things that I've been working on, they're never going to unfold. Cancel, clear, delete that. They, they just do take time and you want them to take the time. You don't want to rush in with anything. You want 
it to be beautifully received, right? But the star coming in Wednesday and Thursday is saying to you, you things are starting to come to you. All the things that you were in the non-physical, the, 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 the journaling, I'm seeing some of you, you know, doing your uh, new moon rituals, your journaling, your all that stuff that you've been doing for months, it's now coming keep continuing to do the work because we're in a physical world so it's not like just sitting there and and expecting it to just come plopping in your lap without doing some type of work but this is about you aligning with the work that you have already been producing the things that you have already put into the non-physical you're now bringing them into the physical experience with you so have faith in that right don't just think that, oh, I'm just wishing upon a star and nothing will happen. That's what it's about. You wish on the star because you know that when you wish on that star, the energy from the star is going to, you know, you're going to connect with the cosmos and that's going to bring it into your physical experience. So also to follow inspired action. And this, this has been coming up. Follow inspired action. Put yourself in a position where if things are starting to unfold for you to, to pay attention to it, you do more, right? You do that more because all you're doing is aligning more with the blueprint that you mapped out. You're the creator of your reality, okay? And then now we have on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we've got the Knight of Cups coming up in reverse. So some of you may be a little bit hesitant on... Um, opening up right because the knight of cups in reverse he you know very guarded um self-sabotaging at times if this is a person um be mindful people will show you who they are they may not tell you but they'll show you who they are so if you know if someone is showing up and they're uh being deceitful they're speaking to you uh negatively trying to gaslight you, things like that. They will show you, people will show you who they are. And then when they show you who they are, then you move accordingly. But also too, you've got to be mindful that you're not guarding your heart because of previ previous experiences, right? Because what you can do is remember Things are coming in that are in alignment. Things are coming in from the blueprint that you've mapped out. Things are coming in that are aligned with the universe. So be mindful that you're not guarding yourself from your, you know, your manifestation because it's not coming through exactly the way that you wrote it out that you're like, oh no, I don't want it. I refuse. Also too, if, you know, don't be jealous of other people's creations either right? Because the, the King of Cups can talk about jealousy, but not jealousy in other people. It could be your inner jealousy as well. Ha be happy for someone because most people nowadays, when they do things, they're not doing things just for them. Anything that you do, like anything that I produce, it is to benefit the collective. So whatever it is that maybe I will get credit for, it doesn't matter it's the the collective is still going to benefit from it right so be mindful of 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 being jealous or being you don't know what someone went through to get to where they are a lot of people see me on uh you know my platforms and they think oh maybe i just got here no this is a long time coming this is a lot of work actual work and I know there are some people that just pop up, you know, they come up with a, a thing and they pop up, but there are a lot of people on here that do the work and they've been doing it for a very long time. So sometimes when you see things, you see, oh, you think, oh, they just got there. No, it's been a long time coming, right? So be happy for people. And also you, you'll have that mindset that as you are on your path, remember that, you know, things take time. They may not even be as long as, maybe as long as it took for me or someone else. Because even my experience, I may think that it took long, but someone else in another experience will be like, please, that was nothing. That came through like this. So you never know what someone is, is uh, working on. Listen, just be happy for everyone. That's it. Be happy for everyone. Be happy that people are living their dream and, and doing what makes them happy right? And as long as they're not harming the world or harming anyone, then, you know, just be happy for them. 
can also to um, talk about holding on to emotions that are uh, deceitful okay so this could be you or this could be someone else just really be mindful right of how you are nurturing your emotional body really really tune into how you are nurturing your emotional body all your bodies you, you've got to incorporate all of them the physical mental emotional spiritual you've got to include all of them right and the emotional and the spiritual are one in the same really but so you know that's why people say mind body and spirit right but it is the four bodies that you have to connect to and be mindful that it's in balance all right and then I wanted to go to um, the keepers of the light and um, Sanat Kumara came in which wow I mean big energy talk about a big energy right this is the solar logos this is you know he is the that avatar right and it says light activation shine your light your eternal guidance is coming through loud and clear so many of you are being heavily activated we are in a galactic activation portal um, that will take us into the 2-2 portal and that whole entire month from my understanding is going to be fully activated so we are entering into a space where we're receiving a lot of galactic codes coming in a lot of galactic communication um, so write down things and there's no coincidence that it that he comes in right under the Empress right I'm gonna alchemize her so he comes in right under the Empress so you are definitely receiving creation codes at this time remember not just for you but for the collective so write down your uh, the things that you're working on and don't be afraid to put them out there don't let this retrograde or anything else stop you once you've done the work once you've you know it's good it feels good within you that when you put it out people you know the right people will be aligned to it because not everybody is gonna align with your work I learned that a very long time ago right you just put it out there knowing in your heart that whoever is aligned with it is gonna come and get what they need to get from it okay and then I wanted to go into um, cosmic contact because there's definitely been a lot going on I'll talk about that in a, in a moment and, and what I'm doing moving forward in regards to that. But I wanted to go into the um, uh, cosmic contacts and I went to uh, Gabe Solomon's deck because I love it. So you had quantum coherence. This is basically the full reading. This is the full reading in a nutshell. Okay, I'm gonna read to you what it says. Quantum coherence. The mind, body, and soul are the sophisticated spiritual circuit. When all three aspects are aligned, coherence on a quantum level brings, begins to occur. This spiritual circuitry can only function properly when the physical aspect of your being maintains the connection with its non-physical counterpart, star, <laughs> known as the higher self. This, the star card is you connecting to your higher self, connecting to the universe, connecting to that consciousness that is above where you are in the physical experience, connecting in and bringing through the information, okay? The feelings of clarity, calmness, and overall well-being are indications that you are in sync with your higher self. This card invites you to, to spend more time with these sensations so that you can familiarize yourself with the feelings of energetic alignment between mind, body, and soul. I, like I said, this oracle is the entire reading in a nutshell. So this week and moving forward, you have the opportunity to bring balance to your experience so that you can connect in more with your higher self. And it will also give you an opportunity to have beautiful activations coming in from the solar logos, which is Sanat Kumara. So wonderful. So amazing. Tomorrow's my birthday. So this reading was definitely <laughs> great for me. I trust that you got what you needed to from it. Remember, take what serves you and leave the rest. Um, for those of you who are interested, I do have a guided activation on my website with a channeling from Sanat Kumara. So if you'd like to check that out, you can go to the Quantum Healing Shop 
in um, my website, Sweet Spirit of Light, and you'll find the activation there along with so many other activations and tools to help you unlock your chakras and work with your energy body, your mind, body, and spirit. You can do all of that on Sweet Spirit of Light. If you'd like a personalized reading, um, you know, to expand on your journey, or you'd like to do an Akashic reading to connect with your galactic lineage, then head over to the book online section of the Quant of uh, Sweet Spirit of Light and you'll find um, a schedule there to book a session. Um, if you'd like to work with me in terms of mentorship or take one of my classes, you can head over uh, to Sweet Spirit of Light, and I've created a special um, category for this. So you just scroll down on the home page, and it will say Mentorship Information, and you click into it. It'll give you all the information for all of the mentorships, all the classes, and you can um, sign up for a 15-minute free consultation with me to see what uh, course will align with you, what will work for you, and you know if it's right for you. All right? And uh, let me see, I think I had one more announcement. Oh, okay. So as far as my Patreon goes, so one of the reasons why I wanted to work with this Gabe Solomon deck is because I've been having a lot of amazing experiences with the Galactics. One of the reasons why this is happening is because we are shifting into galactic citizenship like we are st we've already been stamped approved to be galactic citizens so we get to mix and mingle with the galactics we get to connect with them so that's why a lot of people are seeing sightings and so many other wonderful things that are happening and unfolding you know in the midst of all the chaos <laughs> so what i've been doing is i've been um collecting all of this footage, whether it be ships or all this other magical and amazing things that happened to me in my experience. And um, for the most part, I've been sharing it with friends. Um, and I don't really want to share it on a public platform. I'm just not interested in doing that. So what I will be doing moving forward is sharing it on my Patreon. So if you are on my Patreon, then you can look forward to me sharing a lot of the galactic experiences that have been happening and will continue to happen. Many of us are shifting into first contact and so it's been an amazing process and it's been exciting and I've thankfully had some amazing support and friends to uh, share it with and now I'm extending that uh, sharing to all of you. So if you're on my Patreon, then um, you know I'm going to start loading pictures and videos really soon. I'm not going to edit. It's going to be really raw. It's going to just be pictures, all the things that happen, the, you know, the wonderful things that happen. Um, and so if you're not a patron, then you can head over to uh, Patreon and it is the Shaman's Light on Patreon and join me there. We'll have some galactic discussions. There's a whole bunch of things that, um, you know, I'm, I would like to share with all of you in regards to the galactics. And I want to give you that opportunity to shift you out of this, um, you know, the, the distraction and really tune you into what is happening on the ascension path, what's happening and unfolding on earth. Okay, so if you're at all interested in that, if that all aligns with you, then you can uh, head over to Patreon and support me on there. And as a way of giving back, I'm just opening you guys up to everything that I'm experiencing, which is a lot of amazing things. Um, in, in conjunction with all the other stuff that's on there, there's a lot of light language on there. There's uh, readings. I only do relationship readings on my Patreon. I don't do them on any other platform. So only on Patreon you will get relationship readings, whether you be single or in a connection. I also do twin flame readings on my Patreon and um, live and all that other stuff. Everything's on Patreon, okay? So if you want to tune in, if you want to connect with me a little bit more than what's on these uh, other platforms, then head over to Patreon. Okay, all the information for everything that I just talked about will be in the description. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you all next month or next week, sorry, for the weekly. Enjoy your week. And as always, I send you gratitude, love, and I call in the light. Namaste.